Hey guys, what's going on? We got a Tech Warehouse unboxing for you guys today. You know, this is the order that I was debating about unboxing or not that I was talking about in that last video I did on treble hooks. If you guys haven't checked out that video, you know, definitely check it out. But uh, you know, in that video, I wanted so many likes to do this video to find out if you guys really wanted to see these types of videos. I was hoping for like 500 likes within a few days. It got over 600 likes in for like four hours. I think right now it's pushing like 900 likes, so obviously you guys like these videos, so I'll continue to do them. So uh, all the guys that liked that video to see this video, you know, right now, I'd appreciate it if you guys would give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Uh, one more thing before I get into this, I want to talk about my shirts. Most of you guys know that I, I have Tackle Junk 81 t-shirts. I also have the sweatshirts. But as of right now, I took the sweatshirts off the site. I ordered a few, and I didn't like how the glow showed up on the sweatshirts. They said... The thicker material absorbs the glow, so it doesn't show up as good. And on the black, you can hardly see it at all. And the black lettering and the black reel doesn't stand out at all. So uh, you really need that glow to pop like it does on the t-shirts. So right now the sweatshirts are off the site until I get it fixed. But you can still pick up the cutoffs, the t-shirts, the long sleeves. I got women's and kids on there as well. Nothing wrong with the t-shirts. Like I said, it's a thicker material that's absorbing that glow around the logo that uh, I have the issue with. So I'll get that fixed and I'll get them back up here soon guys. Anyways, let's get into this. One thing you guys always ask about is what knife I use. This is a Strider. It's by Buck. Awesome knife. The first box is already opened up here. Only one thing in it. I don't know why they shipped it separately. But uh, it's just a deep, deep coffin. Bass Mafia. And uh, I got one other one that I'm using to store my crankbaits in. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen and in the description. But um, I use that my other deeper one, like I said, for the crankbaits. And this one I'm going to use for like a day box or to uh, walk around the ponds and things like that with. And uh, one thing about these boxes, and some of the Plano boxes too, you can take all the dividers out. So it's one big empty box. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. Take everything out and use it as a big day box. So that is that. Then we got this box here. One other thing I wanted to mention too, a lot of you guys ask me how I buy so much tackle. You know, one thing that I always do, I do it a couple times a year, I'll go through my tackle and things that I'm not using anymore, or maybe I found a new favorite, I don't use the other one as much anymore. Like in this box, I got a bunch of chatterbaits. And um, I bought a Z-Man Project Z chatterbait a while ago. I really liked it. I liked it better than the ones I was using, so I sold off all my old ones to buy all these new ones in this box. I do, I do the same with soft plastics. I mean, pretty much everything in this box was paid for uh, with the money I got from selling tackle. And I'm getting ready to do that again, go through my stuff. Whatever I don't use anymore, I sell off and I buy more. So that's pretty much what I do you know, throughout the year. So anyways, enough talking. Let's get her open. Paper, t-shirt, sticker. All right. First up, we got, I heard a lot about these. I want to try these out. These are the uh, Cavatron buzz baits, the slowest buzz bait ever. I got three colors here and three eighths. We got a black with a black blade. Hopefully the glare guy's not, the guy's not too bad. It shouldn't be. Black, black blade. We got a chartreuse gold blade. And then we got a white red blade. Again, all three eighths. Fish in that muddy water, I wanted something I could reel slower. And I've heard so much about these being able to reel them so slow. So uh, we're going to give them a shot this year. Then we got uh, two of my favorites here. This is the Booyah. Vibroflex and uh, Golden Shiner, one of my go-to colors. That's got the Double Willow, both gold, and we got two of them here, three eighths. And we got I'm trying these out for the first time. These are the uh, Strike Back Spinner Baits by uh, Mega Strike. See here, we got. I think these are two of the standard ones. This is a uh, <clears throat> chartreuse and white, and we got a uh, shad. These are both three eighths. It's 
to Shad. And yeah, I can see a little glare on there, guys. So I'm sorry about that. And for the most part, you guys can see that. That's the Shad, and then we got the Chartreuse and White. <clears throat> and these ones here, these are the Roland Martin Specials here. These have the uh, new heavy duty swiveling action, and these got the bigger blades on them. And I got a Golden Shiner, and what's this one? Fire Tiger. Again, three eighths. So yeah, that Golden Shiner. I mean, gold always works better for me uh, versus like a chrome and dirty water, the muddy water that I fish. So that Golden Shiner is usually one of my go-to colors for spinner baits and uh, things like that. Okay, what do we got here? We'll start with. I got more of these. Yeah, these are the. Uh, this is. I thought I got smaller ones. Yeah, I did. Yeah, this is just the Destroyer and Candy Grass. This is the the bigger one. And then I wanted these ones my last order, but they weren't out yet. So I got I thought I got four of these. Yeah, these are the the baby destroyers. Another one here in candy grass. You guys are pretty familiar with that color. Then we got uh, California Love. It's like a darker watermelon red. And we got this one is Green Pumpkin Flash. And these are the baby. Let's go ahead and do a comparison real fast. The uh, the standard size is a six pack, and the babies is a ten pack. And here's another baby and Bruiser Flash. We'll take one out for you guys. Yeah, I like that. Sweet. Okay, that's those. We got Rage Tail Grubs. This is a four inch in hot chartreuse. coffee scent on there and we got uh, let's see here this is Raptor Tail Jr. in Molten Craw it's kind of like a PBJ similar good looking color I got two packs of those And we got, uh, these are what I like to use. I like uh, like the 4.5 plasma tails, like a, a small finesse worm as a trailer in my chatterbaits, or I like to use these. These are the uh, blade minnows. This one is Ghost Shad. You guys will see this. <clears throat> Ghost Shad. Guys, this could be a long video, so sorry about that. I got a lot of stuff in here. We got uh, Green Pumpkin Pearl Belly. Quicker if I don't take them out of the package. So if I get a close up, you guys can see the colors. And then we have uh, one key lime pie. Chartreuse will blind you with that with that light. Okay, these I'm really excited about. I got a bunch of these in my last order, and these colors I got here they uh, were sold out when I made my last order. So I had to make sure I pick them up this order. And these are the uh, Jack All. Cover crawl. I got two here and three point five. Let's here. Did I? Yeah. Two here and three point five. Orange, green pumpkin. I'm not taking these things out right now. They are. It's a strong scent on these things. I'm sure you guys remember that from my last video. But yeah, these are the green pumpkin orange three point five, and uh, it's like six in each pack. And then I got two of those in the four inch. These are a five pack. Again, the uh, green pumpkin orange. I got two. Then we got two 
4 inch in the JL Crawl. And these are PBJ pretty much. Guess we can take one out. I hold my nose. <laughs> my wife's gonna come home. What is that smell? That's gonna be a good little pitching and flipping bait right there. My go-to hog bait for the longest time was a uh, a power hog. These may replace those. I mean, these are good-looking baits. Like I said, the scent is strong, and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting these <clears throat> to trying these out. Those two in the four-inch. JL Craw, and then we got two 3.5. And we got a bunch more of the uh, crazy flappers. I got some of these in my last order too. We got a uh, 3.6 here in Junebug. These are pretty small to Texas rig. This probably be a, a jig trailer. And then uh, I love throwing a Texas rig. So I got a bunch of the bigger ones to uh, for a Texas rig, Carolina rig, something like that. This one is uh, Alabama Craw. This is the 4.4. This is about the same size as a um, Crazy Lake Chigger Craw. Give you guys a comparison. Good looking color. Running out of room here on the table. Uh, we got a 3.6 black blue. And we got 4.4 black blue. We got uh, 3.6. I think I got that many of the smaller size. I guess I did. 3.6 Alabama Crawl. We got 3.6 Green Pumpkin Chartreuse. And then 4.4 Green Pumpkin Chartreuse. Really excited to try those out. Then we got just a couple more packs of the uh, Mega Strike tubes. I got a bunch of these in my last order. This one here is a watermelon pearl. I like those. And then this one here, I just got one of each of these in my last order. I wanted to see the colors, and after I seen them, I like them, so I got one more of each. And this one here is the uh, green pumpkin black red flag. I'm going to take one out. <clears throat> Pretty detailed. It's got a solid head. Okay, then we got, I really didn't need any more beeper baits, but these had such good reviews, I wanted to try some out. <clears throat> these are the uh, Riot Baits Fuzzy Beaver. This one's in Riot, which is like a, like a watermelon red type color. And these have excellent reviews, and they're super soft. And that does look really good, but it is so soft. So I'm not sure how durable they're going to be, but uh, hopefully they work pretty good.
And that was in the riot color. I should have got a couple packs of each of these. I like those. This one here is in blue steel, black blue color. And then this one here is like a green pumpkin blue. Edema is the color. A lot of blue in there. And the last up, we just got a bunch of chatterbaits. I got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, like five or six different colors, and I got three of each color, a couple different sizes. These are the Z Man Project Z. Now, three eighths is what I fish the most, so I got two and three eighths. And one and half. I put a half on if I want to go a little bit deeper, if it's windy, but mostly I just, uh, or most of the time I just throw the three eighths. So that was the, uh, what color is that? Pearl Ghost. And then we got three here, two three eighths and a half. That's the three eighths there. This is in uh, Breaking Brim, bluegill type color. And we got three here in black and blue. Again, two three eighths. Two three eighths, one half. Black blue. There's a couple three eighths. And then we got three in green pumpkin shad. Three eighths. Three eighths. There's the half. Then we got three in Houdini. Three eighths. Three eighths. Here's the half. And then last up, we got three. And Chartreuse Sexy Shad, half, three eighths, and here's another three eighths. All right, guys, that's my order. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate you guys watching, and I'll talk to you soon.